What's up guys, Ket here, and welcome back to another episode of Mon Fans, the series where I showcase a bunch of mods that are made by the fans for the fans. And I'd like to say thank you for the amount of support you guys showed the first episode. Really appreciate that. I'm planning on making this series like at least like a monthly series at the very least. Right now I have a bunch of mods loaded up and ready to go, so let's uh get started on showcasing the next batch of mods. First, we have this track mod over DSP's gardens called Sakura Garden, made by Mr. L Gamer. And right now, we just go take a nice stroll around the track. I really like these pink rose petals that appear throughout the whole track, kind of like how the leaves appear throughout, pretty much appear throughout the whole track of Maple Tree. Looks really cool. I really like how detailed and bright the water is on this track as well. In general, the water in this game doesn't look as detailed as it should be to me. So for it to be nice and polished in this mod looks really nice. You have these beautiful trees here and I'm really a big fan of the tiles of the tiles here of the track. Looks really nice. And we have this beautiful nighttime sky uh, like as, as if I'm in an, another galaxy or something. You know all the stars and comics and whatnot. I'm honestly a sucker for like stars in general honestly in the nighttime sky. They look really beautiful. I could be wrong about this, but in the default version of Peach Gardens, all the flowers and the hedges seem to be like one color. But in this mod, they're, they're like multiple colors. You have purple, pink, like a lightish blue, yellow. I think that's really cool. And it really makes it stand out just a little bit more. And here, and here's pretty much my favorite section of the track right here. You know, these trees makes me, makes me feel like I'm strolling along a park here looks really beautiful one grip i have this mod is that like the texturing on this side of the track you know the normal terrain here and this part of the track you know how slippery it is because they're so similar it's kind it's kind of confusing like i wish mr l gamer would have left this part like brown or whatnot you know it's just it just seems kind of misleading you know like, you know, the terrain on the track is all, looks all the same, but they don't function the same, if that makes sense. But in general, you know, this track mod looks really beautiful, you know, that's pretty much the only gripe I have against it. So yeah, Mr. L Gamer did a pretty good job on this track. The next track mod is called Shadow Bowser Castle 3, made by Rogue. And as you can see, this track is very, like, there's a lot of things going on, on this track, to say the least. Um... I'm gonna get the negatives out of the way first. So, one thing about this track, it's as you can tell, it's really dark. And I'm honestly not a big fan of like dark texture tracks like this, because it makes it hard to see while I'm racing and whatnot. And as you can see, you know, the sky and shit, it looks kind of glitchy and whatnot as well. So I'm not really a big fan of that either. I think that I think the the glitchy part of the sky is that is worse when I'm at this section. But look at this. It looks, this shit looks ridiculous. It's kind of jarring to me. Another thing is like as you can see the mini map, it's kind of it's kind of see through. I wish like Ro would have like added like a much brighter outline of the mini map. I felt like I felt like that would make it like a ton times better than what it is currently. Alright, uh, let's now get into some positives about this track. As you can see, the thumps, every time they slam down to the ground like this, they showcase some yellow eyes. Some yellow bright eyes. I'm not too sure if it's like that in the default version of this game, but I think... But if it isn't, that's that's a really cool detail Ro added. As you can tell, this track resembles a certain custom track called SNES Bowser Castle 2. And it's kind it kind of resembles the track in a way, you know? The blue atmosphere, the blue lava, except I'd say in that custom track, it's a little bit lighter as opposed to this track mod where it's a little bit darker. But I do, I, but I do like the idea Ro was going for when while making this mod. In general, like I think this mod is, eh, it's a little too dark, a little too jarring to me. But you know, if you guys can, if you guys can tolerate it, you guys can go ahead and download it in the link below. And this next mod is a Funky Kong mod called Ocean Kong, made by Gracie. Gracie? I hope I'm saying that name right. I really like the extra texture Gracie did on Funky Kong shorts. Blue stripe on the bottom of shorts there. It's really cool. 
Also like the gloss and the texturing of the wheels on the Flame Runner looks really nice as well. Gracie also went the extra mile of adding the texturing to Fucky Kong on the menu here. And also to all of his vehicles. So that was pretty cool of Gracie to do that. Uh, I don't know what that R symbol means. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe Funky Kong's on Team Rocket now. Who knows? Prepare for trouble, our middle name. And make it double. It's a high stakes game. There we are! Next, we have this Dr. Mario mod made by Kart Yuga. And I think this is a really cool, impressive mod. You know, you have the Dr. Mario icon in the minimap there. Of course, you have Dr. Mario himself with his own color scheme and his own logo on the bike here. Now, as you may have noticed, you know, this model of this mod looks kind of blocky and a little stiff. You know, it's almost like it's almost like this model would actually fit in like Mario Kart 64 because of the polygons and shit, and whatnot. But you know, that's not that's not that's not taking anything away from the mod. You know, the mod itself in general looks cool. So you know, so I'm more surprised that Dr. Mario isn't even in the Mario Kart game. You know, there's like what like six, seven different Marios in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but none of them are Dr. Mario. But that's pretty, it's pretty funny when you think about it. Kartuga also went the extra mile of adding him to the menu theme as well. And adding Dr. Mario's color scheme to, to match Dr. Mario. You know, that's really cool. Kartuga did a really good job on his mod. Looks really cool. And who knows, maybe in the future, you know, I might come across some more m Smash related mods, you know, because Dr. Mario is in Smash Bros and whatnot. Honestly, wouldn't it be very cool if like all the characters, all the playable characters in Smash Ultimate were to have like some sort of mod model in Mario Kart Wii. That'd be really cool. I should like add like some sort of like Smash counter to keep track as this series goes on. See how many Smash character mods are made for this game. Next, we have this Smash Ultimate minimap icon mod made by Giant Firing 28, and I think this is a pretty cool mod of the, all of the Mario Kart Wii characters having the Smash Ultimate icons. It's pretty creative, honestly. So there's two versions of this mod. There's the shaded version and the non-shaded version. Right now, I'm using the shaded version of it. And as you can see, hopefully, as the characters spread out a little more, you guys can see this mod more clearly. Until it just crushed my ass. And Bowser Jr. just wrecked my ass, but yeah. Giant did a pretty good job on this mod. This looks really cool. I think what they did with the Smash Ultimate icons for the series looks really cool. I hope they honestly stick with that for... Honestly, for the longest. I think they've been using... More or less been using that ever since... Smash 4 since Smash 4 days. I could be wrong on that though. Next we have this Daisy Yukata skin made by Crystal Moon Kitty Cat. And I really like how Crystal like this mod looks really detailed. I like the shading of it looks really nice. Now I know like that blue part of her outfit. I know that blue part is supposed to be like a ribbon that keeps her outfit together, but honestly I can't get out of my mind that it kinda looks like a backpack. It kind of looks like one of those backpacks you go on camping or whatever, you know? I just... It just kind of looks similar to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. I also like the cheap, cheap hair piece that Daisy has in her hair. Now, I'm not really too familiar, you know, what it's properly called. It's probably just called a headpiece over in Japan, who knows. But yeah, it looks really nice. In general, Crystal did a pretty good job on this mod. It, like, from top to bottom, it looks really nice. So this next mod is pretty much a two-for-one deal, and who doesn't like deals like that? Am I right, guys? So, it's a Peach and Daisy athletic wear mod made by Super Daisy 55 And pretty much it's just, you know, Peach and Daisy in their athletic gear that they wear in the Mario sports games. So right now I'm just showcasing Peach. And here's Daisy, and this mod is pretty familiar for those who've watched some of my early vi earlier videos. And I think both versions of this mod looks really nice, honestly. And as you guys may have noticed, this mod goes over all of Peach's and Daisy's vehicles. This is a really nice mod. Yeah, I agree. Super Daisy 55 did a pretty good job on this mod. And that pretty much does it for these batch of mods. If you guys saw a mod that you were interested in, all the links to them are in the description below. Like, like subscribe, comment if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.